Caddis Maximus here. The reason why I'm doing a review of these Viva uh, paper towels is because they are what I use for shop towels right now. Because they are, uh, as far as I've been able to find, the next best thing to the traditional blue Scott shop towels. Scott also has white versions and glass cleaning versions, which I don't like. What I do like about the Scots and the Vivas is that they have more of a thick, kind of a cottony type of cloth that is very soft, like Charmin soft. These are not brownies or bounties. I really don't like those brands of paper towels because they are just really coarse, abrasive, rigid. Never liked them at all. Even for standard paper towel uses. And for somebody like me who services a lot of tools and does a lot of cleanup, wiping up grease, that type of stuff, I want a towel that has some body. These are Kimberly Clark, made in America. Now there's been a lot of complaints. They seem to have some type of a uh, subscription service on Amazon where they're selling uh, people. They're selling people on a subscription service and then selling them the budget small rolls. And it's surprising how many people complain, but they won't complain about the fact that candy bars weigh three grams and cost two dollars. But man, you shrink their paper towel sizes and they'll just freak out. This review is one, based on just the raw properties of the cloth, and two, at Albertsons, and I assume Safeway, this is a six big roll pack for $7. Totally unbeatable. Almost 50% cheaper than Amazon. The small rolls have something, uh, 50 some odd sheets. These are the 83 sheets. Let's pull one of these out. So I really like these because of the body and fullness that these cloths have. Let's go and pull one of these off here. I also like the fact that the glue that they use to initially hold them isn't too rigid. On some cloths, they use a real aggressive glue, so the first few sheets are just hard right where the gluing is. You can still feel it, but it's really not too bad. And as soon as you get past those first few sheets, these really are uh, pretty soft. There are standard Vivas, and then there are these signature cloth ones. Uh, the regular uh, Vivas are even softer, but maybe not quite as durable. And we can see that there is a slight bit of a texture. They don't have quite the thickness or the body of a Scott shop towel, but the prices that they're selling these at, at Albertsons, $1.17 a roll for a big roll, just totally unbeatable. You can see how this towel hangs and flops. Really like that for cleaning activities because it really gets into a lot of the tight spaces. And durability is fine. It's exactly what I expect with a paper towel. Maybe not quite as good as a Scott shop rag, but really not too bad either. And they do work pretty well as far as absorbency. We can just touch it into some water and it just wicks right up. Really do appreciate that, even though it's probably a bit hard to see. And they don't get a lot weaker when they are wet. Although all paper towels will get a little bit weaker uh, when they're watered. These definitely feel pretty good. If we get it nice and wet here, I can tell that it's a little bit weaker, but it's really not too bad. And that is one situation where a Bounty or a Brawny may be a little bit better, uh, is when they're particularly wet. For me, they're just great for when I'm trying to clean up tools. We got a bunch of grease. This is some grease on a piece of aluminum here. I can just do a cup. Whoop, I just re-wiped grease all over everything. Probably do want to use different sides, but I can just do a few wipes here. I did not have that bunched up correctly for wiping down this piece of aluminum. But just get another surface. And it really gets pretty much everything off of there. The only way you get this really cleaner or is just to use some alcohol or acetone on it. And that's one of the reasons I really, really like these. Is that even though bounties and brawnies and those type of more rigid towels are better when they're wet, they really just don't have the same level of absorbency and don't have the body to really trap a lot of the stuff that you're trying to clean up. They seem to spread a lot of it around. And that's why these have just been the go-to for me. Even when you use uh, various cleaners here, whoop, it really just pulls it right into the body of the cloth and then for something like this, I can put some oil on it and then wipe down some tools and it makes a real nice thin film on it. It isn't like where uh, uh, you put some oil on a rag and most of it would come off, you know, just right at the beginning. You put oil on the rag and then it will provide just a nice uh, even layer, you know, for somebody who has a lot of tools like me, particularly a machinist who has a lot of tools that are made out of very hard steels, which means that they rust easily. I think they would really appreciate a cloth like this, especially if you can get them at half the price of Scott shop towels.
you can see with that pass of the oil we even picked up a little more dirt and that's also what i really like about them they work really well for picking up uh just all the fine particles so paper towels are preferential but i did want to make a review of these vivas because i've been i probably bought a hundred rolls of these so far and sometimes I buy the normal soft ones, and sometimes I buy the signature cloth versions, which are just a little bit coarser, but really seem to be the best alternative if you can find them on sale to Scott Shop Towels, when you're somebody who really likes to use paper towels, because they do work. When I use them, I mean, it's exactly for this, this kind of purpose. I really want things that absorb and trap particles, and uh, I really like these things. So it's just my personal opinion, and, you know, uh, for seven bucks for six big rolls, it's not, you know, in this situation, it's not like it's a real big financial hit to give them a shot. Although I will say it's a bit annoying that they have some type of paper towel subscription service where they're offering you a discount, but they're not really discounting you when, uh, they're giving you tiny rolls instead of, you know, the more standard size ones. But I'm not entirely sure if that's a Kimberly Clark thing or if that's just some kind of Amazon deal for household products. Oh, I almost forgot. There was another test. I saw this. I forget what channel, uh, but they did a pretty good uh, kind of effort where they just kind of took a paper towel and just did a little bit of a water pour test just to see how fast it soaks in, which is almost instant. And if we lift it up, it left a little bit on the table, that, but still, it kept most of it in the body of the towel and doesn't want to drip out, so I'm actually pretty happy with that. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing, even if it's weird paper towel reviews. Also want to say I really appreciate all the new subscribers and all the support that I've been getting uh, recently and actually over the entire two years that I've been doing, almost two years that I've been doing YouTube. Once again, thank you. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Catus Maximus out.